hey guys welcome back to my channel uh my name is rose for anyone that is new here hello um i am sorry i've been mia for i think a week i think it's been a week so i apologize um i kind of gotten a little bit behind with shipping delays and then just waiting to try new products instead of showing you guys the same old things that I constantly do every single week. So um, today I have, unfortunately, it is July 31st. Yeah. And I literally just got my July BoxyCharm. It was supposed to be here two weeks ago. And um, FedEx was supposed to be dropping it off, and I got this, oh, it's going to get delivered today. And then all of a sudden it was like, okay, it's 9 o'clock at night, they're done delivering. Where the hell is my box? <laughs> to, okay, let's call FedEx and find out what the hell they did with my box. To FedEx telling me, well, um, we're dropping it off at the post office, which is literally past my house. So they could have just dropped the box off. But instead they drove past my house to get to the post office to drop it off. And then the post office, my post office, I think, um, sat on it for a week and a half until they finally delivered it today. So, I have two boxes. I have the normal BoxyCharm box and then I have the premium box. So, um, this is the first time that I've gotten their premium box. I have gotten the Lux box before. Um, which is on a video from a little bit ago. Um, I don't, I don't find that the extra cost of the pre of, of the Lux box is worth my time, so I don't get it. Um, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to just the premium box because this does get delivered FedEx, where the normal box gets delivered regular mail, and I I got the premium box two weeks ago, so I've been sitting and waiting for this to come because. Well, I got a lovely thing in the mail also, or not in the mail, but in the email from BoxyCharm stating that, oops, we sent you a duplicate. So, um, I have a little box growing of things that I want to do for a giveaway. So, if you want to be part of our giveaway, um, you want to stay tuned to the end of this video, and I will show you, I will actually tell you, um, how you guys can go ahead and become part of that giveaway. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into these boxes and let's see what kind of goodies I got. Okay, so, first box, we're gonna just do the regular box. So here is a sneak peek. And this is called Sunshine. And then of course on the back of the card is all of the spoilers. So, <laughs> right on top, this is actually kind of funny, um, they gave this one of these, which is actually a color switch brush, which you guys know, I got one from the Dollar Tree, so like, they are the, exactly the same size, this one is from the Dollar Tree, which you can see I've got some color product on it, um, this is a very coarse, I don't know, sponge is what I would call it. Um, this one is a little bit softer, but it's the same exact damn thing. So, this MSRP is for $20 by Lavish. Honestly, if you have a Dollar Tree next to you, instead of spending $20 on the same thing, just get one of these. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the giveaway, actually, as one of our giveaway options. I'll just set that back there. The next thing that I'm going to go ahead and dive into is this right here. What is this? Ace Beauté Bronze in Paradise, it says. Um, so the packaging is really, really pretty. And then on the back, it just has all the ingredients. It's made in PRC. Um, and the retail value for this is $30. So this is a Bronzed in Paradise Bronzer Palette. It's an addition to the much loved Paradise Collection. Four bronzer shades are featured to provide natural sun-kissed skin. May be layered on top of liquid, cream, or other powder complexion products. So 30 bucks and 
um, you get a nice size mirror and then this is the bronzers in there so the next thing that we have is babe lash and this says it's an essential serum and it says get lush longer looking lashes over time with this award-winning essential serum so this serum is $59 and it says who doesn't want noticeably beautiful lashes the award-winning Babe Lash Essential Serum will give you the lashes you've been looking for by enhancing the appearance of length and volume over time. It can also be used on the brows and with lash extensions. Be your own kind of beautiful with Babe Lash. Okay. Um, so here's what the packaging looks like. It's just like a nice little gold tube. And then... I get this protective fucking sleeve off of here. It's not going to come off. There we go. Turn the damn thing. Alright. So gold tube. And then, oh, it's just a little, like, brush applicator. I don't know if you guys can really even see that. Um, okay. So we can go ahead and give that a try. I'm not going to put any on right now because it does say do put it on clean dry eyes and I have foundation and stuff on but it is made in the USA in Utah so we'll give that a try and then I got two of these and I know that because BoxyCharm sent me a thing stating that I have duplicates so um, this will also be part of our give of my give Lula of my giveaway um, and it's the Morphe X Manny Mall Glam Palette eyeshadows and highlighter and so I'm not going to you know I can swatch these and then I can go ahead and give the other one away so let's do this okay so I'm just gonna toss that down there all right, so this is what the palette looks like. So you've got 12 shadows, and then you've got two highlighters right here. So let's see. We'll do an eye look with all this, too. Let's see what kind of a highlighter I want. So that one's very, like, bronze and sun-kissed. Ooh, okay. So one has, like, a... One has gold, and then one is more like a pink shimmer. Like, this one right here is more of a pink shimmer, and that one's more of a gold. So, let's pick up. Do, 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 where'd my brush go? Here it is. I'm just going to use a fan brush for this. So, let's see here. So, we'll just slightly fan that on. Bring it all the way up. I don't know. We think it's okay. I think it's a pretty color though. But it's. You can definitely see it. That's. Mm hmm. I'm going to bring this slightly down the bridge of my nose, just like that. Okay, I really think. I like it. I think it's pretty. I'll do a cupid's bow. Okay. And it's not like a, like, in your face kind of a color or anything so it's nice nice and like subtle you guys can see it shifting and everything on camera so it's nice all right so let's go ahead and do our eye look for today i'm going to let's see so we have oh this one's called fire witch what's this what color is this oh these are like really really buttery soft too so Ooh, that one's like a mauvey pink. Can you see that? That's pretty. And then they have Spellbound. Ooh, that's a 
it's kind of like a burgundy, almost like a burgundy brown. And then they have this really pretty, I don't know how to pronounce this name. Oh, I didn't think, that, I thought it was going to be more pigmented than that, but I'm just trying to build that up a little bit. Okay. Um, this one is this, I don't know what that's called. Um, but I thought it was going to be more pigmented, but it's really, really not. Some of these are really, really like buttery soft while other ones aren't. And then let's see what the shimmers look like. So we have this one gold shimmer, which is right there. It's really, really pigmented. This one kind of looks like it's duochrome to me. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, it kind of is actually. It looks brown and then it kind of has like a hue of blue. That's pretty. I like that one. All right, so let's go ahead and do, I think I'm just going to do a nice brown sort of eyeshadow. And then we'll pop that like blue color on there, I think. So let's go ahead and just play. Okay. This is just the first thing I'm going to do. I just got to find my darn brushes. All right, so. I'm going to go in with this one. It's called Dust Cloud. It's right down here. It's just a neutral, like, all-over blending shade. Mm -mm, I don't want that brush. Where's my big one? Get a big fluffy brush. Here we go. So, we'll just want to put that all over. I've already set my eyes with concealer. So, I just did all that off camera. Alright, so let me go ahead and take, where'd that just go? I'm losing my brushes. Alright, so I'm going to go in with this color Sophie, which is right here. And that's going to be my transition shade. So, just put that right here and we'll build it up. here you guys can see the palette in case you don't want to get any kind of giveaway free stuff so let's see all right looks good all right now I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into I'm guessing it's called Zaya, Z-A-Y-A, and it's just a darker shade of brown. And I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to go more into my crease with this, and I'm going to build it up. down here which you can kind of see but it started to go away um anyway um so I used those acne patches that they had in there to see if they you know worked yeah no they didn't work they didn't do anything for me so Alright, so now I'm just going to get a feather brush, and I'm going to go in with Spellbound, I think. I think I like this one, this terracotta one. This one is a really, really dark brown. I don't know that I want to use that, so let's go in with Spellbound. Ooh, this is a pretty color, like you can really see it on that brush already. 
so we can kind of deepen up that crease. I'm gonna pull that a little bit on to my eyelid. side bring it on to the lid a little bit and then blend this out so the shadows are really really easy to blend I don't have a problem with them blending so far the ones that I've chosen are pretty pigmented too so that's nice So now I want to go in with, I don't know, you know, I'm going to put this Zaya all the way across my lid actually. There we go. It's very, very like a neutral palette with some pops of color with the shimmer. So there's that. Now I'm going to pick up a packing brush. I picked that one. I'll use this one, I guess. Alright, so we have this one that's called Cancer, which is, you know, it's very, it's kind of pinks. We have this one that's called Aries, which is more like a duochrome. It's blue and then greens. And then we have this one that's called Leo, which is more like a coppery tone. And then we also have Scorpio is our final color, which is the gold one. So I'm thinking, I really want to do that duochrome one. I really, 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 really do. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, give me that color. Hmm, that's so pretty. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. Mm, okay, let's try to put it on with a brush. It's not coming off on the brush that well. Okay, so just put a little bit of highlight up underneath of our bone brow, or yeah brow bone um and then i'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and we're just going to blend just the crease because everything else i think looks good so just the crease okay so um, my overall thoughts on the palette, not bad. I was kind of hoping that some of these were going to be more pigmented, especially like this color right here. I was hoping that that was going to be a lot more pigmented, but it's really, really not. I mean, you could build it up like when I swatched it, but overall, you know, not a bad palette, but, um, the MSRP on this is going to be 20 bucks. So I guess for 20 bucks, it's not too bad. You are getting 12 shadows and then two highlighters. So um, it's okay. So there's that. 
And then last but not least, we have a setting spray. This is from Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Spray. So, ooh, very cute packaging. I like this. It's kind of like an iridescent bottle. It's got a nice little like rose gold cap. It looks, it looks rose gold. Maybe it's just gold. But in this lighting, it looks rose gold to me. So, you know, here's that. And it's got a very big pump on this thing. Holy Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and try the setting spray. I'm going to spray it first. Okay. Definitely smells like coconut. <laughs> feels good going on. If you don't like coconut spray, don't use it. If you're allergic to coconut, don't use it. <laughs> um, mm, that smells good. It does remind you of like a vacation, like straight up. You like pina coladas? You'll like this. So good. I like it. So our box total with all of the items that we got were course our vacay spray, the morph palette, our ace beauté, and then we also got the oops the color switch dry makeup brush cleaner and then we got the babe lash also. So for all of these products it was 151 bucks and the box itself was $25. So not bad if you like all of the products, you know, so if there's, there is that box. So now let's go ahead and get into our bigger box. So, whoo, sneak peek, here is what we have. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take out this Morph palette so as you can see, it's right here. It's the same one that we just got. See there. I haven't touched this one, so I'm not going to touch this one. So this one is going to be part of the giveaway. So I will put this over here with this brush cleaner. Okay, so right off the top, now that that's gone, is... We have this Cushio Cuticle Revitalizing Oil with milk and honey. Okay, so we have this Cushio, Cushio, whatever the heck it's called. Um, so the bottle actually sets like this, which is kind of cool. Um, and then, of course, it just has a dopper, mm, which smells good, actually. So, wait, did I not get a... Well, thanks, BoxyCharm. Um, I didn't get a slip in this box, so I don't know how much anything is. Yay! Great job, BoxyCharm Premium. Mm -hmm. um, so, we have this cuticle oil. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put this into my giveaway as well. Um, I don't do anything really with, like, nail care. Nail care. Um, so, this will be in the giveaway as well. There's that. Okay, so the next thing we have is, what the hell is this? Byro New York. Bitter Green Essence Toner. This toner is a conditioning treatment toner that saturates the skin with hydrating and purifying green ingredients to help smooth texture of skin and protect against dehydration. So after cleansing, gently sweep Bitter Green Essence Toner over your face, neck, using your fingertips to apply apply in the morning or night, and it can be used daily. So we have, oh, we have this bottle. I mean, the liquid's not too thick or anything, but um, okay. So we have a toning serum. Okay, I'll have to look up all these prices and find out how much they are. Um, then we also have a moisturizing healing mask, Argan Oil 7 Formula, 
delivers a combination of multiple benefits. Oh, this is for your hair. Okay, so it detangles, controls frizz, prevents hair coloring from fading, seals split ends, and protects from chlorine and salt water, restores silkiness and shine, and it enhances natural body, coconut scented. So it says do not rinse. So I'm guessing it's a leave-in. To protect your hair against chlorine and salt water damage before swimming, thoroughly wet hair and apply mask from roots to ends and do not rinse. So, okay. After shampooing, apply a moisture healing mask to towel dried hair. Leave it in for one minute and then rinse. So they don't want you to rinse it if you go into the pool. I don't know that I'd want to go ahead and like put this in my hair and then go into someone's pool with this in my hair and then possibly like screw up all of their chemicals or whatever. Just wear like a, a head, the hell's that, a head cap, a hair cap. Just you wear one of those. So. Okay. Directions for pre-wash, wet hair, and apply through ends, do not rinse, then shampoo and condition. Okay, so we'll try that. I'll put it in the bath. I don't know anything about that. Um, the next thing we have is in this gold package, and it says brow, brow bar. So here's that. Take a look what this is. No idea. And I've already done my eyebrows. So. Brow bar. Oh, it's eyeshadows, y'all. See, and I thought. Ha. Huh. Wow, look at that. Alright, so we have. I don't know. We've got five mats, and then we have five, and we've got this tiny little brush. Let me take this little brush out so it doesn't fall. So these are all mats here, and then you have one mat here, and then these are all shimmers. So let's go ahead and swatch this. I kind of wish. Why is this called? Oh, it's by Brow Bar, and the palette is called Drama Queen. Okay. So, uh, that one you're not going to see because it totally matches my skin. <laughs> see, like you can just, like this one matches my skin, that one you can see. Um, very buttery formula. Okay, so we have a gold shimmer. Oh my god. Oh, that's gorgeous. I wish I would have done my eyes with this palette. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so we have bronze, we have gold, we have like this brown, this green. Oh my goodness. I I flip and love that and then we have another like gold shade oh my goodness and this this is that green shade it's like right there and it's green with like hints of gold oh yeah if you guys want to see me do like a look with this I think I'm gonna maybe do this for Wednesday's eye look because I think we could probably create something really really pretty with that okay so we have this eyeshadow palette and then, oh, let me put the brush back in there. Not that I'll probably use the brush, but whatever. We'll just leave it in there. And then we also have Fully Fire. Fully Fire. Oh, it's lipsticks. So I got three whole size lipsticks. So this is nice. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have Sunset Boulevard. Here to stay, and then a full house. Um, some of these shades look really dark, so okay. So 
so here's what the packaging looks like it's got like a little twisted heart kind of a thing going on kind of looks like my tattoo actually huh. cute um so this one is called full house and by the looks of the packaging it's yeah this is like it looks almost like a dark wine color I don't want to swatch that because I mean if I'm not going to wear it it's really really dark so I don't think that's really a color for me let's see then we have Sunset Boulevard I really wish that they would have given you like a nude color or something like that that would have been really nice um, so let's see same packaging ooh see this one's right up my alley right, you know what? I'm just gonna put this one on yeah this is like my go-to lip color always ooh and it's pr it's great doesn't taste like anything <laughs> so there is that and that one is called Sunset Boulevard and then we also have the last one this one is called here to slay whoa okay and this is like a bright red lipstick so I'm not gonna get rid of this one because I think I can use this one whenever I want like a nice red lipstick because I don't have one um, so I am gonna go ahead and put this fuller house color in my giveaway cuz yeah so I found some totals for our products. Um, for the lipsticks, they are $10 a piece from Folly, not Foley, Folly Fire. Um, and this is their matte, mut matte manipulation um, colors. They have several actually on their website. So if you're interested, you know, go ahead and give them a check out. Um, so we got three of them, so 30 bucks. The Brow Bar Palette, this was $45. The Morph palette, which we already know, which is this one, was $20. The Cuticle Oil, which is back here, was $10. Then the Hair Mask was $18. The Ciate Setting Spray is $22. And the big killer in the box is this face toner. This crap is $60, and that is Amazon. Amazon has this, the same thing, the 5.07 ounces for $60. It's, like, that's just crazy to me. So our grand total for the premium box was $205. Bucks. So for $30, $35, which is an extra $10, um, you do get some really great products. So I have to say I'm quite, quite excited. Um... But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys like the look that I went ahead and created with this. Um, the only thing I don't have on is mascara. So, whoops. But we didn't get a mascara in the box. Um, but anyway, um, if you guys like this, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you have watched all the way to the end, then this is where I'm going to go ahead and tell you how to go ahead and be entered in our giveaway box, which so far we have an oil, a lipstick, the color swatch, a full glam palette by Morph, um, and I do have some other things that I've kind of been saving that I've never used. Um, so if you're at all interested in getting this little box of goodies um then please go ahead and share with me actually comment down below i want to see this emoji down below so that i know that you watched everything okay but it's the um smiley face emoji that has like a party hat on and it's got some like confetti coming around his head so if you get that emoji go ahead and share that one for me also in the comments um let me know what you liked about this video and then also besides for subscribing to my channel you have to be a subscriber you have to go ahead and com comment this little emoji um also go over to my instagram account 
start following me and leave me a little message there. Um, I'm going to run this. Let's see. I'll give it about a week. That's all we'll do. We'll run it for a week. You have subscribed to this channel. Um, you've shared the emoji in the comments down below and let me know what you like about this look. And then also over on my Instagram, you go ahead and follow me and then leave me a little message there because I will have a picture of this look up and me holding up one of these fabulous boxes as I, Hey, check out this video. So comment on that picture. If you go ahead and find it, it should be there within my history. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.